Unity has changed their pricing plan and the internet has lost its mind and is mad as hell. And there's a lot of good reason to be mad as hell. This was a sudden change. There wasn't a lot of notice that it was going to happen. Uh, it wasn't really well communicated. There's been lots of holes and gaps in the whole thing. And people are just generally upset in terms of Unity. How could you do this to us? I'm here to be a voice of positivity for a moment. If you're in that situation where you're thinking, ah, oh, should I stop learning Unity? Ah, oh, should is have I wasted my time? Ah, oh, should I cancel my project? Just pause for a moment and think through what's actually going on here. Don't just listen to the emotions that are going on in the in, around on the internet at the moment. People are worked up, they're fired up, they're trying to make a point, they're trying to say to Unity, if you do this, we will cancel you. We're not happy about this at all. It's great that people have a voice, but we need to make sure that we take a moment to think about this rationally. What does it mean for you and what does it mean for other developers? Just very, very quickly, if you're not familiar with it, Unity has changed from a you pay per seat. So I'm, I'm a person and I pay a certain amount of money and that's it. They change from that to once you get above a certain amount of installations and a certain amount of money, you have to pay a royalty fee per installation. And so the examples are if you're a standard user, once you get above 200,000 installs and $200,000 that your game has made, you have to start paying Unity 20 cents per install. And that's a little bit of like, what the heck is going on there? That's, that's the part that's the shock. However, if you look at it in the next step, if you pay for the next level up in terms of license, then the threshold goes from 200,000 to a million. So you can have a million installs and a million dollars in revenue, which is pretty good, right? Before you have to start paying that fee and that fee drops the more money you make. So for me, as a hobbyist, I'm like, I don't think my game's gonna make a million dollars, so I'm not gonna have to pay any of that. And that's cool. And most of the people in our particular community aren't gonna have to pay that. And most developers aren't gonna have to pay that. So it's something that is, when you look at it through that lens is not too bad. But then let's have a look at the people that it does impact. Well, the big organizations, the big teams, the big companies that are in particular making mobile games, or they've got a lot of people out there, a lot of people playing their games, a lot of sales, uh, a lot of traction, all that kind of stuff, that are making a lot of money. Unity is saying, we need to tax the rich so that we can give our product away for free to people who don't have revenue yet. And for one, I appreciate that. What I didn't like when Adobe changed their model from uh, you buy it and you have it forever to subscription is it meant that even if I wasn't using my Adobe products for a couple of months, I was still paying for it. And I, I just generally don't like that per month payment for something that I'm not using. So I really appreciate that Unity remains free for our student community to practice, to get good at it, to try their game and see how it's gonna go, to give it a shot. I really appreciate that. I like that, we should respect that. And I really like that it's saying, you need to have quite a bit of success before you have to pay. So there's some things to like about it. There's some things to not like about it. I totally accept that. And I totally accept that a lot of people are upset because it was communicated poorly. Some of the clarifications, I've got my thingy here, they're getting better and better at the moment with their FAQs and responding to the questions. So it's great that we as a community are saying, hey, what's going on here? What's happening? Go and have a look at their, uh, their FAQs on the unity.com forward slash pricing updates page. There's things like, uh, when do I have to start paying? And this has been, there's been misinformation about this as well, saying, well, my game that I've had on the uh, on Steam or on the App Store for five years, I'm gonna have to pay five years worth of back payment. I'm ruined. That's not correct. And they've clarified on here, once my game passes both revenue and install count thresholds, will I be charged retroactively in the past for installs up to this point? No, the install fee is only charged on increment installs that happen after the thresholds have been met and it starts, so it's, uh, you will not have to pay for installs generated prior to January 1, 2024. This for me is a good clarification that should have come out earlier, to be honest. A lot of people would have been a lot more relaxed about it. This means that if you've got a game sitting out there that's made some money, you had some installs, you don't have to pay for all of that in the past. But if it reaches, if it's reached those criteria and you are making money on it moving forward, then you'll have to start paying moving forward. So there's clarifications like that that I urge you to go have a look at understand fully, research it, read about it, understand it. Because what's hurting me at the moment is I'm seeing a lot of people say, I've spent a lot of time getting to know Unity. I'm feeling good about my game development journey. I'm feeling good about making games. 
and I'm ruined. I'm, it, it's done. And they're doing that n not knowing the full information, not knowing what this actually means. If you get to the point where you're making a million dollars or more for your game and you're having to pay cents per install, I think you'll be able to get through it and you'll be able to figure it out and you'll be able to make it work for you. So we need to make sure we're rational about this. Let's not get into this mindset of, you know, big corporations are evil. Therefore, any slight thing they do, we need to shut them down. Let's do our own research. Let's look at it objectively. Let's see what it means for us. Let's see what it means for our friends. Let's see what it means for other people who are out there. Please don't go giving up on your game development dream. Please don't go saying, I, I'm done with Unity. I have to start from scratch. Absolutely go check out Godot. Absolutely check out Unreal Engine. There's options out there. But what you'll find with Godot is the features aren't as good as Unity. And what you find with Unreal is you're paying 5% royalty when you exceed that 1 million revenue from your game. So it's similar to what Unity is implementing with their installation fee. Unity has done something in a way that we don't like how they did it. We don't like that they shocked us about it. And they don't. we don't like that they didn't communicate it well. And it seemed like they were trying to take advantage of us. However, they're just a business trying to keep their doors open, trying to make sure that they can continue to make good software. We need to get around them and say, here's what we would like to see altered with this. This is what the truth is, is how it affects me and how it doesn't affect me. And please stay in business unity because I don't know about you. I don't want to go have to learn another game engine if I've spent all this time learning Unity. And I don't want to have to cancel my game if I'm halfway through it. And I don't want to have to be stressed about these things. So let's try to be positive, hey, and, uh, and, and make it work and see that this is a business just being a business. It's not a business that is out to hurt us deliberately. And people who are out there saying Unity hates us, they don't respect us, they're out to get us. The CEO once said this and once said that. I urge you to look deeply, research what actually was said, what actually is happening, what actually is the impact so that you're informed about this and we're not all accidentally cancelling Unity and putting them out of business because that's going to harm the industry, that's going to harm you. So it's not all over. We'll all get through this. Unity will figure it out. They'll fix the things that we're super upset about. This is a, a tax on the really, really rich is the way I see it. And I think it's reasonable if you're making millions and millions and millions of dollars out of your game and using Unity as the thing that you're able to do that with, then you should be paying some money to Unity for that. Their costs are hundreds of millions of dollars to keep this software alive. We need to make sure that they've got the money to do that. And would you rather everyone pays a $50 a month Adobe subscription style fee or would you rather that once your game makes over 200,000 or over a million, depending upon where you're at, that you then start to have to pay some royalty towards them? Which, which of those would you prefer? I'd prefer to keep it free all the way up until the point where I'm doing really well successfully with my game. So I want to encourage them to find a way that works rather than just saying, we hate Unity, we're out of here. Okay, there's my two cents on that. Uh, please comment about how you're feeling about this, but please, as I've urged you in this conversation, make sure you're doing it in an informed way where you're saying, this is the impact on me. This is what actually is happening. I've read the FAQ. I've, I've looked through the information. I know exactly what's going on. And it's not just the emotion of, uh, I feel betrayed by unity. We've seen a lot of that. I think we're now at the stage where let's, let's get through this and figure out what we're all going to do and stay positive. And you know what? Keep loving game development.